Hi, it's like Christmas. Greetings, the Astro 30 here, yet again with a sort of different video. A patron of mine has sent me a couple of items here. There is another box on the way because he forgot to pack something in the other box. So he sent me some electronic goodies here, and I already know what's in this box. Not too sure what's in this box. I'll get to this box a little later. Um, and that third box that's coming, I will feature in this video once it gets here. He actually got here pretty quick to be honest. He only posted it last week. So this has on the side of the box 625VA4040. So well we can tell right away that this is a monster power transformer. <laughs> so let's get the box open once I can figure out how it does come open. And um, we'll take a look inside. And thank you to the patron that sent me this by the way. This is going to make for a future project on this channel. For some reason I have a real great difficulty getting into this box. I don't want to rip it because I want to put it back in the box so I can move it to a new residence. I'm probably doing this wrong. I'll have to vacuum now. <laughs> What in the hell is going on here? Ah, oh, there we go. Jesus Christ. Oh. Oh. Oh, damn, that's got some weight in it. Yeah, that's got some real weight in that. A lot of bubble wrap here. Let's stick tape there. I don't want to destroy the bubble wrap too much so I can actually put all this back in the box as I said to move it. I just want to get it out so we can have a look at it. That is some really good packing. I cannot even get the transformer out of the bubble wrap. It's like it's stuck in there. Alright, give me a minute off camera to do this. The guy that sent this is probably watching this video right now laughing at me going, that's not how you do it. That may be right. Oh, okay, I've separated the outer condom from the inner one. And we're presented with more bubble wrap which should be just a simple matter of just, um, I'll just cut around it, just to separate it. Very well packed, I'm quite impressed with this, but it's, it makes it awkward at this end to get it out of the packaging. So I have to be a little bit creative. So I'm assuming with this that uh, he no longer has the box that this transformer came in. Which would have probably made things a lot easier, but it doesn't matter. Oh man. Holy shit. Oh. Wow. Look at the size of this monster. Oh. In order to use this, it's going to have to, I think it barely fit in a two unit case. It'll have to go into a three unit case. But look at the sheer size of it. The weight of this is like over five kilos. Um, interestingly, it says here two times 50 volt, two times 15 volt. Hmm. That might be a slight issue because it's supposed to be a 40-0-40, not a 50-0-50. Um, hmm. 
Okay, anyway, that's Monster Transformer. That's about as far as I'm going to take this out. Uh, you might want to get in touch with me about these voltages because uh, that's after DC rectification. That's oh, close to 130 volt. So we've got 50, well, we've got 50 times 2, which is 100, multiplied by 1.414. Oh, Jesus Christ, that's 141 volt DC, divide that by 2 gives us 70.7 volts DC per rail. Ooh, that's, uh, that's getting up there. Uh, the reason I'm concerned about this is because of what this is actually going to be powering, but I'll get to that a little bit later. And I just found this, I thought the mounting hardware was actually missing, but uh, there's the uh, little rubber isolator and the top um, thing. There should be another rubber isolator. I think there might be two in here. No, there only appears to be one. So this is the top one that goes on top of the transformer like that, but there really should be a rubber one underneath. And there's nothing else in this uh, packaging. So, yeah. And it's a really short bolt, too. Anyhow, I'm going to put the transformer to side aside and then I'm going to open the other box. Alright, let's see what box number two holds in store for us. I am still very quite surprised at how quick this got here. Because uh, usually things with Australia Post take ages. Uh -huh. We've got a bunch of components. Need to open up the bag and have a good look at the contents here. Right, open this big ass sandwich bag. We've got a bunch of capacitors, large resistors, um, spay terminals, headers for PCB, yeah, my favourite connectors too, those sodding little J JSTs. Yeah. He's even concluded some heat shrink. Nice. Well, I don't have heat shrink that's that small, but... Okay. Um, oh, more heat shrink. Hmm. More spay connectors. More heat shrink. It's like a heat shrink vest in here. <laughs> Cable ties. A pre-made male to female... Um, test lead according to what it says here uh, fatal, fatal oh, female spade to male spade yeah well I can see that not sure what that's for maybe for connecting to the product to actually make it easier to test rather than using clip leads uh, looks like another set of test leads here yeah test lead 100 ohm 5 watt uh, oh, I've got an idea what these are for. Um, in the third box that's coming, there's a PCB. And I'll let you in on a secret. It's an amplifier PCB. Because it's not going to spoil this video because I'm going to wait to finish it when I get that box. And what these would be designed for is to actually connect across the fuse, holder or fuse holders of the amplifier so you can A, have current limiting and B, also, uh, like, measure across it to adjust the bias of the amplifier and mm, all that such fun stuff. That's actually a good idea. I've never thought of ever doing that before. I usually just clip lead on the resistor I want across the, um, the fuse holder. But anyway, got some black uh, banana plugs. Man, there's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> a Power switch, uh, and got insulation washers for RCAs, but there's no RCA sockets. A bunch of um, female spade terminals, or spade connectors, non insulated, it says. Oh, the uh, actual spade terminals themselves, PCB mountable. Uh, let's see. Ooh. Audio file grade uh, speaker connectors. 
don't know what's in this. Oh, transistors, diodes. Not sure what's in that box. So I'll take the box out of this bag and find out. Don't lose the components. Uh, yeah, I'm not sure what this is. It doesn't appear to be. Ah! A couple of uh, transistors here. I can't quite read what it says. They are JE350. Yeah, JE350 each. Okay. Excellent. I'm getting a nice decent pile on the desk here. Uh, probably more transistors. Yeah, these are the output MOSFETs. Lovely. Um, he said there's enough components in here to build two amplifier modules and he's actually got two PCBs. Uh, but I won't spoil it at this part of the video until I've actually received the third and final box. Uh, here are these dinky little filter capacitors. Uh, unfortunately, these are rated at 63 volts. Yeah, that power transformer is going to kill them. So that's a little bit of a, a problem. Uh, although these will probably come in handy for something else later, but yeah, I'm going to have to think up a different power supply solution with different capacitors. These aren't going to be sufficient. These really need to be 80 volt caps, really. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's the stuff in this bag. So all we got to do is wait for the uh, third and final box, and I, we can have a look at that. Yeah, that's a problem. But on this transformer, it's two times 50 volt. At 5 amps and 2 times 15 volt at 800 milliamps. This transformer is not really going to be uh, useful in this project because it's just too high powered. Um, yeah, that's because the specifications of the amplifier modules that this is supposed to power is plus minus 70 volt maximum and we're putting out probably uh, all said and done unloaded probably 72 volt plus minus and it does say in that uh, project's uh, specifications further that voltage must not be exceeded he actually recommends running it at plus minus 56 volts, so that means I'm probably going to have to buy a new toroidal transformer just to get that project to work. That's a shame. Um, and also, I've looked at the there goes the bolt. Looked at the isolator that goes with it. Yeah, it's only got one rubber insulator, so. There's supposed to be two, one on the top, one on the bottom. Hmm, okay, well, that's a shame. But anyway, let's get on to the um, third box now. Yay! And after about a week, my third and final box has finally arrived. And I've got my customary glass of vino there, because it's the end of the day. Cheers. Mmm. Not a bad drop. This isn't really relevant, but uh, yeah, it's Sonata Estate Soft Fruity White. Yeah, it's only $10 a cast from BWS, but it's not a bad drop, actually. So let's open this box and have a look what's in it. I've already gone ahead and opened it to make it easier to do on camera. Uh, plus, I already know what's in here, and I've removed any uh, things that have got uh, address details, name details, and, you know, passwords and all that sort of stuff. You'll see why in a minute. Some PCBs. Mm -hmm. This is Rod Elliott's uh, Elliott Sound Products 
project 101 revision C which is a 150 watt power amplifier module using uh, lateral MOSFETs into an 8 ohm load and uh, yeah I will do a separate video on this project uh, a little later in the next couple of weeks or so um, but yeah these were donated to me I've got two of them and he did say there's enough components to make two of these modules however I'm only going to make one and that will be revealed in the next video about this particular PCB. So there's two PCBs and there's quite a bit of weight in this box and that's mainly because of all these heat sinks that he's provided. So it's like a 300mm long, 35mm uh, high I think it is, heat sink. I believe it's 300mm. I'll measure one in a minute. But there's uh, what looks like four of them. And I'm not going to pull them all out of the box because I've got to move it all again anyway. Oh. And one of these ones, a tunnel heat sink that I used to buy from JCAR. They actually joined together. Actually, it's even still got the uh, catalogue number on it. They're HH8532. I was actually looking to buy one of these a couple of weeks ago for a project I had in mind. But, uh, yeah. But that's where most of the weight is. It's about one and a half kilo just in these two heat sinks. There's a lot of aluminium there. Anyway, that's the contents of the third box. Um, I'm glad to see it. I'll just put them there and I'll put them back in their little protective uh, envelope later. Uh, the reason why I've already opened the box is because it was in an envelope that had um, the person that sent me this is old uh, address details on it, but his name especially. And it also had Rod Elliott's return address, which is not really relevant to anyone, plus an invoice uh, wrapped around these PCBs giving out the password and username to his secure web pages. So in order to build this website, uh, <laughs> in order to build this PCB, um, you need access to the secure site in order to get the uh, component values or else you cannot build it. So you don't have to buy the PCB if you don't want to, you just have to buy a PCB. Then you get his uh, login details for his secure site and you have access to every project that's on the secure site. This is a makeshift box made out of an alcohol box, but all well and good. Anyway, thanks to my Patreon, Jeff. I'm pretty sure he won't mind me using his first name because he uses it on YouTube. Uh, for sending me the, these goodies, uh, there's at least $200 plus of um, stuff here. Uh, that toroidal transformer alone would be worth at least 200 bucks brand new today anyway. Um, he bought it second hand. I did actually have a conversation with him about it. He was not really uh, paying much attention when he bought it. I think he said that I just had a hard on, which I had lost my shit over, for the <laughs> plus minus 70 volt version of that amplifier, which is not recommended by the way, but as I said that'll be brought up in a separate video. It's got nothing to do with this video. Anyway, thank you again Jeff. I will make use of most of it, transformer I can't really use for this project. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but I'll find a use for it. But thank you very much for spending the time and money to send all this great goodness to me. Anyway, I'm the Astro30. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to rate, comment and subscribe below. And you can always follow me on Facebook or become a Patreon supporter for as little as a dollar a month. And in the next couple of weeks, I'm going to organise a post office box. So if anybody else wants to send me uh, stuff they want to donate, either pre-assembled modules, um, stuff they want me to assemble on the channel, or just, you know, electronic gadgets or components or knickknacks, whatever. I'll be posting that information in the description on future videos. Anyway, this is Yastro30 saying, see ya, have a great day. yippee ki mother. <laughs>